Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Ordering Fractions, Decimals, and Percents. Before we can talk about how to order fractions, decimals, and percents, we need to talk about two specific types of order. One type of order is ascending order, and this order is going from least to greatest. Another type of order is descending order. This is going from greatest to least. We can keep these separate in our mind by remembering that D for descending is going down. Now let's go ahead and apply these to a few decimals. We want to put the following decimals in descending order. We're going to start with decimals first because this is how we're going to order our fractions, decimals, and percents when they're all in decimal form. We're always going to stack our decimals on top of each other. Graphing paper helps us because it keeps each place value separate. Anytime that you have a number right here, for instance, where you're missing a place value, you can always just add the trailing zero. Now I'm gonna compare my numbers, looking at the left and going towards the right. So in the ones column, they're all zero. In the tenths column, I can see that there is two numbers that are bigger than the other. So this one is not going to be our largest number. In order to find out which is bigger, 35 hundredths or 3 tenths, I need to go to the hundredths place value. Here I have five and here I have zero. So I know 35 hundredths is my largest number. Since I'm doing descending order, I wanna start with my largest and go down. So I'll first write 35 hundredths and then I like to cross it out so I can rem remind myself I've already used it. And then we know here that our three is larger than our two, so three tenths would be our next number. And then our last number in descending order would be our 24 hundredths. Now let's apply this to fractions, decimals, and percents. We wanna put the following in ascending order, which means we're going up. So we're gonna look for our smallest number. Before we can do that, we need to convert all of these to the same form. So I'm gonna use decimal form. My 88 hundredths wouldn't change because it's already a decimal. I would change my 9% by converting and I would move my decimal place two places to the left. That gives me 9 hundredths. Finally, for my fraction, I would divide using long division and I end up with 8 tenths. Just like in the last example, I'm going to stack all of these decimals but sometimes it's hard to remember which decimal goes with which number. I always like to write them across from each other. That way I remember that eight tenths, for instance, is the same thing as four fifths. When I put them back into whatever order it asks for, ascending or descending, I need to make sure that I use the original numbers given in the problem, not the decimal conversions. Now when I'm looking here, I see they all have zero for the ones place value. In the tenths place value, I can see that this one has zero while these two have eight. Since I'm looking for ascending order, I know that nine hundredths or nine percent is going to be my first listed number. Next, I have 88 hundredths with an eight in the, in the hundredths place value and eight tenths, which has a zero in the hundredths place value because it's the same thing as 80 hundredths. So I can see that four fifths or my 80 hundredths is going to be my next smallest number. And then that leaves my largest number as 88 hundredths. So I can go ahead and rewrite those in the original format. And I might have my numbers in ascending order. Let's wrap up. We will convert numbers to our decimal form and stack them first. Then we'll write the given form of the number next to the decimal conversion so we remember which goes with which. And then finally, we need to pay attention to what order the question asked us for, whether it's ascending or descending, and use the given numbers for the final answer, never the decimal conversions. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe to watch this and other lessons. Until next time.